So the rabbi says, why did you bring the elephant into the supermarket in the first place? Man, that was lame. That was worse than the one about the tomato. On that foul note, I gotta go. Go where? It's still early. Yeah, I know, but I'm already late for dinner. My parents are making me do the family thing. I hate it when my parents make me do that. It's always the same old thing. When I was your age, we didn't even have football. We just sat around and watched the grass grow. We were thankful for it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dear, whatever you say. Man, I'm glad I'm not in your shoes. Hey, look at that. Ugh, those people freak me out. I bet she's going to ask us for money. I wouldn't give her a dime if I were you. You never know where that money's going to go. <laughs> hey, guys, watch this. Please, could you spare some change? Oh, sure. I have plenty of... Oops. Sorry. Must have left all my twitties in my other pants. Tough luck. God bless you. God bless you? Whatever. Doesn't she get it? Yeah. God bless you, too. <laughs>
They told me to leave. Learned a lesson. People would see me walking toward them and turn away. Oh well, more room on the sidewalk. Once a kid actually said hi to me. Didn't even say nothing back. Just smiled. Kid's mom pulled him away. Told him, don't talk to him. He's dirty. There are some things that no one should have to hear. There was no place to sleep, no place to be. Seems like every building has a no loitering sign on it. As the days got longer, I needed something to fill my stomach and empty my head. Now I have a habit. At least I learned something from my mom. Then I turned 18. Katie, you should be used to rejection by now. Yeah, but that still doesn't make it easy being told no, if they say anything at all. Do you have some place to go tonight? I found a place in this alley with a vent that puts out just enough warm air to keep it from freezing. How much room is there? Not enough for you. Sorry. There's hardly enough room for me. I'll see you guys tomorrow. See ya.
what that money could enable you to do. And my feet hurt so bad 
I wish I had some decent shoes. I said when the wind comes coming, ain't no one here a stranger. I said when the wind comes coming, ain't no one here a stranger. Only you will grow. You be looking for me.
back home arguing with my sister. I just need something, anything to eat. I can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe this happened. I, I can't believe I'm talking to myself. I'm starting to act like them too. How could you make it through a night like that without your blanket? You can't get used to it. My name's Eddie. I don't know. What do you guys usually do? We just do whatever we can to make some money. 
Well, I uh, stand on the corner and sing excerpts from such famous operas like La Traviata. She doesn't make much money that way. See you later. Nice meeting you, Ed. <laughs> Take care, guys. Well, I'm finished too. Let's go. Hold on, Katie. Before we go, I need to tell you something. Okay. I, uh, I used to have a home. A lot of us did. No, I mean a few days ago. Oh, well, it sometimes happens like that. No, I went to sleep on my own bed and woke up on a park bench looking like this. <laughs> no, I've heard my share of crazy stories, but that one tops them all. It's not a story, it's the truth. Well, whatever happened, you've got to face it. You're homeless now. You're right.
else to place else. Oh, well then here. At least take my blanket. No, I couldn't do that. Take it, I insist. The vent will be enough to keep me warm. This way we'll both stay warm. Thanks. Hey, Katie. Uh-huh. God bless you. God bless you too, Eddie.
Thank you very much. Uh, at the, before the show, I, I did say that I would like to mention a few very special people. But most of them are listed on the back of your program. They really deserve special mention. I, I like to think of them not so much as just set design and lighting, but as truly producers of this show. Because whenever the youth come up with any kind of idea, no matter what it is, uh, we'd like to have a door, okay, a, a house door, a car, no, just a door, just a door. Somebody is able to put that together for us. And the parents that work with these kids have always helped us produce our shows and help our dreams come true. So we want to thank them and give special mention to some of them. So first I'd like to recognize the set design and construction crew who made all the very unique props that we're going to be taking with us in the set, which was just remarkable. Steve Rathburn, Dan Darr, Jason Dom, Marsha Waugh, Jerry Simons, Madeline Norland, Carol Borg, Howard Borg, Rebecca Waugh, Alexis Brooks, Ken Norland, and Chris Rathburn. Would you stand up, please? We want to recognize you. Also, the lights. We'd like to recognize Steve Rathburn, Nina Burroughs, Richard Laboon, and Trish Hill. Now, the logo that, we're, that you've seen probably on the posters, and some of us have the shirts that have this logo, was designed by our own Chris Rathburn. Chris? not talented or anything. Uh, the sound, working with us for the fourth year in a row with the, this wonderful sound equipment that we're very blessed to have and very fortunate that we're going to take on tour with us. Patty Cockrell for the fourth year in a row with us. Also, we're getting very high quality videos made. Anytime I've ever shown videos to of any programs we've done to people outside of our church community, they just their jaws just hit the floor because they think, wow, this should be on PBS, it's that good. And so we really need to thank Richard Laboon for giving us something to remember. And someone who's probably more of a perfectionist than I am on the programs, I'm holding up a blue one because yesterday we had blue programs and she said, you know, it's, it's just not as easy to read as it would be on, say, a different color. So she went and did all different color programs. Janice Rathburn. Yeah. We want to give a special thanks to the t-shirts. Not only the t-shirts that we're wearing that we'll be wearing um, during the course of the tour with the logo on the back, but the set design. I called up Ted and, and said, you know, we need, uh, we'd like the kids to not just be in it, but actually be the set. And uh, so we'd like, could you design maybe see some shirts with some brick walls and shirts with clouded sky and stars? Sure, no problem, we can do that. So thank you, Ted Settle. We're <laughs> of course, the cast party is very important. And we'll be having that actually after we get back from tour on the 11th. And we want to thank Anna and Mike Skipper for o opening their home and to Jenny Purcell who is coordinating that. So thank you to you three very much. And this next group of people really helped coordinate this tour. I'm not very coordinated outside the realm of music. Some may say I'm not coordinated inside the realm of music. But I want to thank these people especially. They're the ones that make this tour possible. They, they call the churches and, and set up all the wonderful educational things that we're going to get to see along the way. So I'd really like to thank these people. Dana Settle, Sandy Williams, Janice Rathburn, Ellen Rogers, Barbara Aldredi, Tom Cockrell, for, very much for all the, all the work that they've done to help set this up for us. mentioned CD sales, I think, at the beginning. I, I, I try not to be a, a shameless promoter of our stuff, but, uh, you know, when we start selling bumper stickers and frisbees, you know we've gone too far. But uh, if, if you're interested in buying a CD, we have some available at the back. Your support will help us in our trip, and it will also help ensure that we add volume two to that in a couple of years, and we're, we hope we can do that. And that is Ellen Rogers and Janice Rafford. So thank you very much.
I certainly want to give special props to the band. Some of them have been with us for four years, three years, and a newcomer, Arturo Rodriguez, is with us. David Grant. Dandar, you know all of that. Now, to some of the very special people behind me who created this thing in the first place. It's, it's a very unique way to go about a musical, to create it from nothing. In August, we started with absolutely nothing, and somehow this is what happened. So I want to give a special thanks to our choreographer, who was a member of the youth, Kathleen Wall. Would you come forward, please? We never imagined the ballet was going to be that spectacular, but we let her run with it, and it, we were very happy with it. And something very unique that we've started this year, and that hopefully will be a trend that will continue, for the first year, the youth actually did the stage directing for the show. I had to admit to the youth several weeks ago that I really wasn't the most qualified person in the room to direct the show anymore, so I decided I'd just get out of their way and let the ones that really know what they're doing do it. So I would like to thank the directors of the show, Allison McCorkle, Graham Skipper, and Chris Rathburn. It's an interesting process, the creative process. I said before that we started this activity as early back as August, and the writer's circle got, gets together every week for an hour and a half, sometimes for four hours in a row on Saturdays to just have skull sessions, and they really did write all this. I know some of you don't believe it, but they really, really did. I'd like the members of the youth writer's circle to come forward, please, the creators of this. Now, my understanding is that there are several members who are now members of the youth who are present in our audience tonight. These members of the youth are going to be up here next year doing this. So we'd like to give a special shout out to them. If you're up, would you stand up, please? We want to see all the new members of our youth. Are you around? <laughs> to get my hands on you. <laughs> and finally, I want to thank all of the wonderful students behind me, students, I think of them as students, um, the wonderful people behind me. You know, it's one thing to be creative and have an imagination, but if you don't do anything with it, then it just kind of sits there. It takes hard work, and it takes a lot of discipline to put on a show like this, and it takes 18 hours in the past week to put this show together. So I want to thank the wonderful group of kids behind me, we are extremely blessed to have the most outstanding youth that I, I've ever been a part of, and I'm very glad to be a part of this show because of them. Thank you. very much for coming. We appreciate your support. Now don't forget the island party that's going to be right across the street. Right now. So thank you very much. Yeah. Oh,